Welcome to Send It John Boats. In today's video, we're going to be starting our transom rebuild. But before we can rebuild the transom, I've got to build a crazy, super strong support system because the motor build that's going on in this boat is going to be insane. Stick around and watch out how I build the support system and I'll walk you through the entire process because I guarantee you've never seen anything like it before. Send it. If you like John boats, mud motors, and things that make you want to just yell, yeah, yeah, then you've come to the right place, partner. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you go right down below here, hit that subscribe button and a little bell thingy right next to it so that you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. So the video you're about to watch was originally filmed and aired on my hydrographics channel many, many moons ago when we first started this project. Now it has been re-edited for this channel, but I will pre-apologize if the audio levels are just a little bit off. It's old footage, did the best I could with it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little disclaimer before you start watching. You are going to see me using steel to build this transom support system and it is going on an aluminum boat. Normally steel and aluminum is, oh my God, that's so bad. Everything's gonna rust and corrode and the whole boat's just gonna sink and we're all gonna die. And while I would normally agree with you, everything is going to be painted before anything touches. So all of the aluminum parts and all the steel parts are gonna be painted so that no steel and aluminum are touching each other. But I know that some of you are sensitive and that's going to upset you. And if it does, just go watch another video. I don't need you blowing up the comment section with, oh my God, you can't use steel and aluminum on this deep boat. Everybody's gonna die. I, I don't care. Send it. So our first order of business is to get this old transom out. Looks like it's just held in with a bunch of bolts and some silicone. So I'll get taking it out and show you the progress along the way. So as you can see, the transom is out, and just as I suspected, it was a piece of pine two by eight that they had cut down to the shape of the transom. They used a bunch of construction adhesive, and even better, I'm pretty sure it was pressure treated. Pressure treated wood and aluminum boats do not get along. Don't ever do that. Regular wood is just fine. So I've got to get all the rest of the construction adhesive out of this channel, and then we'll go ahead and get started building the support system. All right, so one more thing we got to do before we can start on the support system is I went ahead and grinded everything off the back of this transom. That way it's nice and clean. Because they used pressure treated wood on this, there's a lot of spots of corrosion. I got as much of the corrosion off as I could, but just in case I want to go ahead and try to kill as much of that corrosion that I can. One of the best paints in, a, in an aerosol form that I found over the years is this Ace Hardware Rust Stop paint. It's pretty cheap. It's like five bucks a can at Ace Hardware. But it works really good to help stop corrosion. So I'm going to clean everything with alcohol real good and give this a couple of coats of this rust stop. All right, so we're done painting and we're ready to start building the support system. But before we start building it, let me show you why we need to build a new support system for this transom. All right, so what you're looking at, this is the top rail of the side of the boat. This is the transom corner cap and this is the back part of the transom over here. What we have to do is we have to fix this crack. I would weld this crack back together, take it and have it TIG welded, but the problem is this is under so much tension between the side of the boat and the corner cap is even the weld was cracked and it's cracked on both sides. So I tried brazing it together just to get it to stick and hold. I actually brazed this all the way down the side into the bottom and as you can see, the first thing it did when I twisted the transom is it cracked again. So I'm gonna show you how to build a more steady support system that will support the side of the boat, the transom cap, and the back of the transom all as one unit. All right, so let me show you the main support system that we're gonna build and the materials that we're gonna to use to do it and kind of talk you through it before we get started building. First thing I've got is some two inch angle iron. This is eighth inch thick. I really wanted channel, but I couldn't find any that was a true channel, so I'm just gonna make my own. Basically what I'm gonna do is lay this across the top of the transom. I've got another two inch piece of flat steel. This is the same eighth inch, it's two inches wide. I'm gonna weld this together to make a channel so that when we bolt this through the transom, this whole back end is nice and steady. So after we do that, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some inch and a quarter angle to do the same thing on both sides. 
down the side of the boat like this and connect it with a little corner brace here. So to tie these top tubes into this corner bracket system that I'm building, I've got some heavy wall inch and a quarter pipe, which is just a little bit bigger than the diameter of these up top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these down lengthwise and place them over the top. That way I can weld the corner bracket system into it. And then once we get this whole thing built, I'll be able to drill holes through our new support system to rivet it into the original aluminum of the boat. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I need to do before I start welding is change into some more appropriate clothing so I don't catch myself on fire. Much better. Alright, so the transom support is now finished. What we've done to get to this stage right here is we've got all the welding done. I went through and I ground down all the welds with a four and a half inch angle grinder with a 36 grit flap disc. That smoothed out all the welds, made them nice and clean looking. And then I went through and everywhere that I had welded, I went through with a stainless steel wire brush to make sure that I cleaned out all the crevices in the welds, make sure there's no flux or any junk sticking in there. And then once all that was done, I did one final sanding of the entire thing with a random orbital sander at about 180 grit. That gave it a nice smooth surface and now it's ready to paint. But before we can paint, next thing I need to do is go through and pre-drill all of my holes for the rivets so that when we install the rivets, the rivets aren't sitting up against bare steel and that way we'll get paint down in all those holes. So let's get started with drilling. So the rivets that we're going to be using to hold this into the transom is these 3 16 by 3 quarter inch grip all aluminum sealed pop rivets. So I got these off of Amazon. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. But what I had to do to get up to the size that I needed is I started out with a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill the pilot hole. Then I stepped up to a 3 16 and finally ended up at a 7 32 drill bit to drill all these holes out in it as a perfect fit for those 3 16 inch pop rivets. All right, so now what we gotta do is we gotta take this into the paint booth. It's really windy out here. I'm gonna paint this, and we're also gonna paint the parts of this transom that are gonna be covered by this. So our final piece to prep before we get ready to put this transom back together is our new transom support that we built. 
what I've done so far is I've gone through and I've sanded everything with 220 grit sandpaper just to make sure it's all nice and smooth as best I can get it. What we're going to do is we're going to go through and clean everything with alcohol and make sure there's no grease or fingerprints or anything on it. And we're going to start by going over the underside first with some of this Rust-Oleum High Performance Enamel. So just in my past experience with this paint, I've had really good adhesion to bare metal. It doesn't really need a primer beforehand. And all we're trying to do is just protect the steel parts from the aluminum. So we want to give them a layer of paint in between the two so that they don't contact and corrode over time. So the key with this paint is to make sure that you don't blot it on all in one thick coat. You want to go multiple coats, that way it can dry quickly in between each coat and get a nice film build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and clean everything real quick. I'm going to go ahead and spray two to three coats on this bottom section. Once I'm done, I'll flip it over. We'll do the top section and then we'll call it quits for this video. Be sure to check out some of our channel sponsors like these guys, Freedom Lube. I've got links to them down in the description box below as well as discounts if you want to use them. Sponsors like these guys are the ones that help continue to keep this video footage rolling out for you guys. So go check them out down in the description box below. Now we're going to roll those bloopers here for you in just a second. But as always, let us remember, money can't buy happiness, but it can buy you a boat. Bye, guys. So this first part is the, uh, why am I telling you about the first part? You just got done watching it. I mean, ugh. Well, I would say it's much better, but of course I would pick the day that it's 105 degrees in Georgia to weld. <sighs> Could do so by vi visiting, visit, visiting. Well, you'll be notif no notif notified. I cannot talk. But the 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 last and final piece that we've got to get per button also 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 this is not going well. I've left the um the link the connected the transom is a pressure treated two by eight. I think, ish, maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs>